A major port and one of Japan's biggest cities, Nagoya is home to a 15th century castle and to South African-born jazz artist Priska Molozzi. She balances working as a professor with her successful singing career. Hi, Simba. Welcome to Nagoya. Thank you. And welcome to Nagoya Castle. Isn't it beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. It's, it's a marvel, I must say. It is lovely. But you know, it's not the original castle. Yeah. No, the original castle burnt after World War II. This yes. was rebuilt in 1959. Yeah. But it's beautiful and it's a symbol of Nagoya. It's just wonderful. So I hope you're going to enjoy Nagoya. I'm I want sure. to show you all sorts of places in Nagoya. This is my hometown, my yeah. adopted hometown. But I'm still a South African through and through, down to the fact that last night I had Burvos and Pap for oh, dinner. So I'm go. still a South African. In fact, I represent South Africa on a nationally televised show. Yes. And I just love to welcome all South Africans to Japan. And I heard that you're the arts and culture ambassador for South Africa, right? Well, yes, that's true. And I'm very, very honored because that means I can promote South Africa even more to the Japanese. But well, what is it that you love about Nagoya so much? I love the people, mm -hmm. I love the pace of life, and I love the food. What? I know you like to eat. Every yes, South African likes to course. eat. You've got to try Nagoya food. Well, let's do it. It let's... is delicious. Oh, so let's go try delicious. some. You can't visit a market without indulging in something to eat, like mitarashi dango, rice flour and sticky rice dumplings served on a skewer. Konnichiwa, sumimasen. Mitarashi, futatsu to kinako mo futatsu onegaishimasu. So you're fluent in Japanese? Oh, well, of course. I've been here so long. I actually went to university and I did my master's. Oh, wow. Yeah, I did my master's in economics. My husband's Japanese too, so oh, <laughs> you've got to learn how to fight in the language, you know what I'm saying? Of course, and I'm just looking at the money, I mean like a thousand, thousand yen notes? That's right, a thousand yen. Hi, arigato, simasen. That's right, so you're going to have to try this. These are really delicious. Yeah. Made from sticky rice, there's okay. two of them. Arigato, you take one of those. Okay, these are this is different. metarashi, that's right, and this is the other one. Arigato gozaimashita. Arigato gozaimashita. Okay, thank you. Mmm, that looks good. So, what do you think? Mm. It's very, very nice. I it's told like a, you. The peanut butter taste. Well, because it's like ground peanuts rolled around this. And this one is actually just like soy sauce. Yeah. So, okay. I'm going to take this one. More mm. like a savory flavor, huh? Sweet sour. No, sweet salty. How about yeah. that? Well, I must say the food is very interesting. You sort of had to adapt to it, right? Oh, yeah. Because this is chewy rice, right? Yeah. I couldn't stand this when I first came, but now I just love the stuff, and my thighs are there to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> I think one thing that I must have, that I've observed about Japan is the fact that they really held on to their heritage. I mean, I'm just I mean, look at this, this place. place. Yes, it's very, very old. The shopping mall is, yeah. and it's the old-fashioned way of shopping, yeah. and they keep preserving it. As people really love this place, and I think it's wonderful. Yeah. So let's talk. 24 years ago, how did you end up in Japan? Actually, I was I just finished studying in the US and I was given a fellowship, a United Nations fellowship. Mm. So I came here for six months to be a research fellow at the United Nations and six months turned into 24 years. So you can tell I love it. Oh, I yeah? love it here. Not and just this, eh? It's not just this. <laughs> Other Nagoya attractions are the city's peaceful gardens. The most famous being the Tokugawa, a gift to the community from a leading family in the 1930s. Well, so I have to show you Tokugawa gardens. They're very famous. You come to Nagoya, you have to see the beautiful gardens. This is so, so much part of the Japanese culture, yeah. this beautiful zen-ness, the calmness. Yeah. People come here, they'll sit here for hours on end, meditating. Yeah. Big part of Japanese culture, sitting and centering oneself. Very different from the gardens I'm used to. That's right, that's and, right. And uh, you've really embraced Japanese oh, culture. Yes, I have, I have, actually. You did karate, actually. I did karate, I did, and the black belt, excuse oh, me excuse very me. much, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. And that's, that goes, it ties back with all that meditating, yeah. etc. you know, and centering, not just fighting, but centering and controlling one feelings. Why did you show me something? Well, sure, you know, it's wonderful. There's certain things. Obviously, you've got to do it from inside. So when you punch, you know, it's not coming from here, but you're actually twisting the body and okay. punching and then do the other side and punch. Okay. And, you know, you see, you've got to get the energy starts from the feet okay. and works the way up. You see? And then you could also probably do a front kick, yeah. which you snap and kick. That's it. Hey. But you've got to keep low. You see, okay, you're too okay. tall. Okay. <laughs> Let's try that again. Ready? Go. There we go. You see, and then back. Okay. So it's, it's great. It's all about control. Yeah? Yeah. But listen, don't you have a show coming up? Oh, actually, I do. Oh, my goodness. Would you like to hear me sing? I would love to see you sing. Oh, well, thank you. I would love to sing for oh, you. And maybe I'll sing for you. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs>
So you really are superwoman. You're a TV star, you've got a black belt in karate, you lecture, and one of your albums is actually produced by the great Huma Sakina. That's right, we produced that album, or he produced it in 2001 in Joburg, and people here just love it, absolutely love it. You still have family in South Africa? Yes, I do actually. My mom, my cousins, everybody, well, almost everybody. <laughs> South Africa is my home. This is my second home in South Africa. It's absolutely my home. So can you sing in Vinak or talk Vinak or maybe Afrikaans? Oh, Talking about Afrikaans, I can sing in Afrikaans. Oh, yes? Oh, yeah. Far in the Ocalari. <laughs> well, that's about it. <laughs> Sorry. Priska, thank you so much. You've been awesome. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed Nagoya. No, I really it's did. Great meeting you. <laughs> Too much. Yeah.